out of here, dog. south for five miles.
toward 63rd Street, Raytown. House Speaker, would we see different legislation out of this House? 
legislation, no, but how House Republicans operate uh, could be potentially. <laughs> and this is what we're seeing with these nine Republicans is, you know, it, it tend, tends sometimes to be an almost nothing is good enough caucus. So for Kevin, he has to get enough of them to say this is good enough to support him to be speaker. Doug High is former communications director with the Republican National Committee. Pleasure talking with you. Thank you so much. Thanks so much. What meteorologists call an atmospheric river brought an unexpectedly powerful storm with damaging floods and widespread power outages to California over the weekend. Nick Miller with member station CAP Radio says emergency officials are now worried about other waves of storms heading their way. Everyone knew it would rain this weekend, but people did not expect this. In the mountains, blizzards trapped travelers in their cars near Lake Tahoe. In the Sacramento Valley, one river spilled over its levees, forcing thousands to seek higher ground and closing a major northwest highway. At least one person was found dead in their car near Sacramento. There have been a number of rescues that took place with individuals who became trapped in their vehicles. That's Brian Ferguson. He's spokesperson for the state's Office of Emergency Services. The event that may be most similar to what we're experiencing now was spring of 2017, where we had the incident with the, the Oroville Dam. That's when one of California's largest dams was damaged and forced a city of nearly 200,000 people to evacuate. Over the weekend, downtown San Francisco saw near record-setting rainfall and all kinds of urban flooding. Much of Southern California also saw several inches. In California's capital city, fallen trees were a familiar sight when folks woke up on New Year's Day. Mary Spencer Goad was born and raised in Sacramento. The wind was just going crazy. We turned our TV off so we could hear it. And I was sitting in the kitchen. I heard a big whoosh and kind of the house moved. She stepped outside and saw a century-old towering elm tree had ripped through a <laughs> concrete highway before <laughs> crashing onto the residential street. And it didn't hit anything, which is so amazing. Californians will need that kind of luck to continue. No less than three atmospheric rivers are forecast to sweep across the state this coming week. For NPR News, I'm Nick Miller in Sacramento. Many state legislatures will meet in the new year, and they will have the power to address some polarizing issues. The most polarizing may be abortion, which the Supreme Court threw to the states when it overturned Roe v. Wade. But they may try to pass new laws. The new Congress is divided between the parties, but many state legislatures are not, which gives them more power to act. Reed Wilson is following all of this. He's the founder and editor of Pluribus News. Thanks Welcome for watching. Well, good morning.